Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Remnant Worship Texas Prayer. I'm so glad you're joining me this morning for our morning prayer. I do want to say welcome to the month of November or December. We're praying uh, for the month of December uh, this morning. I do want to incur, uh, remind you, don't forget, we do have our last uh, live service for 2024, December, Thursday, December 19th. That's the third Thursday of the month, so I hope that you'll join me. Um, but today I want to really just briefly um, uh, give you this scripture. As I was thinking about this year, as I was thinking about this year, I realize that the Lord has been faithful, and I don't know if you can testify as well that this year the Lord has been faithful to us, and he's been faithful in his goodness and his mercy and his love, I know, towards me. But I want to remind you in the, this, the last month of this year, I believe there's 27 days left in this year. I want to remind you to keep your eyes fixed on Jesus, to focus on him. And I know there's so many things that are going on in the latter part of the year, but I want to remind you to keep your eyes on Jesus. I was reminded of a scripture in Psalms 27 where it said, One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I will dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and inquire in his temple. And that even in this last part of this year, that as God, as God takes us into a new year, that we would continue to keep our eyes on him, that we would continue to seek his face uh, more than ever, because I believe that the Lord is doing something. He's, he's, he's going to fulfill promises in 2025, but we must remain faithful to him. And I want to remind you again that we are in our promised land, and this is our promised season. And so believe the Lord for the things that he is going to bring to you. Amen. So, Father, we bless you this morning, and we give you praise. We give your name glory and we give your name honor. We thank you, Father, that there is none like you in all of the earth. Father, we can search all over and forever and never find anybody like you. Lord, you are the King of kings and you are the Lord of lords. And this morning we say thank you, Father. Thank you for bringing us, God, from January 1st of 2024 to December of 2024. Father, we praise you this morning because you have been faithful. You've been faithful to us, Father. Father, you've been faithful to us. You've been faithful to your word. You've been faithful to perform miracles in our life, Father. We thank you, God, that we weren't, we aren't where we want to be, but we aren't where we used to be, Father. We thank you, Father, that you have over this year delivered us, Father, out of the pit. You've delivered our life from destruction. You've crowned us with loving kindness and tender mercies and you satisfied our mouth with good things God father we thank you that you are good and you your mercy and your love endures forever father that you have showed us your goodness throughout this year that you have showed us your faithfulness throughout this year and father we bless you for it this morning father we just say thank you thank you Jesus thank you father we say thank you we lift up thanksgiving and praise to you this morning because of your faithfulness because you have been faithful because you have been faithful because you have been kind because you have been loving and you've been compassionate father because you've been slow to anger and plenteous in mercy so father we say thank you this morning and we give you glory and we give you honor father we thank you God that despite our ourselves and despite our behavior years, Father, that you have remained faithful to us, faithful, Lord, to, to fulfill your word, faithful to love us, faithful to remind us of your goodness and remind us of your promises and remind us of your faithfulness, Father. So, Father, we bless you today and we give your name glory for your faithfulness. You have been faithful to us, Jesus, and we say thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Father, 
only we know what you have brought us through. Only we know where we've been and where we are today. Lord, we wouldn't be here today if it hadn't been for your mercy, if it hadn't been for your kindness, God. Even as the scripture says, it is because of your mercies that we are not consumed. Father, we thank you that because of your mercy, we have not been consumed. Father, we should have been swallowed up in the grave, Father, but we were not consumed because of your faithfulness, because of your kindness, because of your love towards us, Father. Father, because you poured revelation and wisdom into our our minds and our hearts, God, and you brought us out, Father. Father, we thank you that you have delivered us, God, that you have brought us out, God, that you have taken us out of the miry clay and set our feet upon the rock. And we declare, Father, in the name of Jesus, God, that the best is yet to come. Father, that our hope, God, will not, Lord, be deterred, but Father, we will remain hopeful, God. Father, that the best is yet to come, that you're bringing us into a beautiful season, that you're getting ready to bring us into a beautiful place, Father. Father, that we will not let our, our light uh, fade, Father, that we, but we would continue, God, to be a bright and shining light. Father, that your glory would shine through us, Father. And Father, because of you, we would be glorious, God. Lord, in this earth, Father, we declare in the name of Jesus, God, that you're, you're, you're doing something inside of us, God. Father, even though we may not see what you're doing. You're working on the inside of us, God. Father, you're faithful to perform your promises, God. Lord, your promises are yes and amen. And we declare in the name of Jesus, God, that everything you promised is coming to pass, Father. Father, that we are walking, God, into a new place, into a new place with you, God, into a new place of revelation, Father. And we declare, God, that one thing that we have desired, that we will seek after, God, that we would dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Lord, to seek your beauty and to seek your glory to seek your presence, Father, that we would desire to be where you are. Father, that we would desire, God, your wisdom above all things, God. Father, that nothing that we can desire would compare to you, Jesus. Father, you're more precious than anything else. And Father, that we would, Lord, sit you, God, at the top of our priorities, Father. Father, that you would be, God, our our one focus, our one desire, God. The one thing that we desire would be you, Father. Father, that our souls would long for you, that our hearts would pant for you as the deer pants for the streams of water. Father, that we, oh God, would encounter even in this latter part of this year, the last part of this year. Father, that we would encounter your glory Father, that you begin to speak to us and that you will begin to give us revelation, knowledge, that you will begin to give us plans, God, for 2025. Father, that you would give us, God, that you would sanctify our imaginations and sanctify our minds and give us dreams. Lord, dreams of what you want to fulfill in our life, that you would give us fresh faith for, Lord, the next, for the for the upcoming year, that you would give us a fresh hope for what you're doing, God, in 2025. Father, so we declare, Father, that in in this last month of this year that we would remain faithful, faithful to you, God, faithful to your presence, faithful in the secret place, God. Father, that we would remain faithful. Father, we declare in the name of Jesus, God, that we are in our promised land and that this is our promised season. And we declare over our lives, God, that the best is yet to come. Father, that what's ahead of us is far greater than what is behind us. So Father, we let go of everything. We let go of every weight and every hindrance that's trying to hold us back. 
We let go of everything that's slowing us down. We let go of every distraction and every hindrance. We let go of everything that would try to shift our focus away from you. And we put our eyes on you, Jesus. Father, that we will see the promises of God fulfilled in our life. We will hope for the future, God. Father, we thank you that you are moving in our life and that you are delivering us, Father. Father, we thank you, God, that we have hope in you, God. God, and our hope will not be disappointed. Father, we even declare, Lord, that you are, that, that we are still, we are in that great exchange, that you are exchanging, God, our sadness for joy, that you're exchanging our, Lord, arrest of our, our fear for love, that you're exchanging our turmoil, God, for peace, that you're, Lord, changing our hope into despair, that you are changing chaos into rest, that you're changing sickness into healing, Father, and we declare in the name of Jesus father that there is a great exchange father that there is a great exchange happening father every time we step into your presence something is happening God father that we are remaining focused God on what you have called us to father father that we are exchanging bondage for freedom God father we thank you God for freedom father freedom right now in the name of Jesus we thank you that freedom is here freedom is now in the name of Jesus so we declare your glory father and we declare your power and we declare that you're about to do something in our heart God Lord raise our level of expectation raise our hope in you father father even in the last God Lord 27 days of this year God perform a mighty miracle blow our minds God in the name of Jesus so father we declare your glory and we declare your power now in jesus name we pray amen amen and amen amen god bless you all thank you all so much for joining me this morning for our morning prayer uh, again i do want to remind you don't forget we pray every uh thursday at 10 30 a.m central standard time and our next our last live service for this year is going to be thursday december 19th so god bless you i love you keep your eyes on jesus and remember god is faithful to perform what he said he would do god bless you i love you all and i will see you all next week